Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a series, uh, start a series of tutorials on using Lightwave with Unreal Engine since Lightwave has a bridge built into it. If you don't have Unreal Engine installed, it's free and you just come here. I'll leave this link in the description and you just need to install it and you need to install an older engine which is 4.26. Funny enough the documentation uses that as an example but unfortunately that's the most current version that Lightwave has a bridge for. So hopefully in the near future we'll be seeing update to 5.1 which is the current version and honestly if you don't if you're using 4.26 it's you're not missing out on that much although the 5.1 has something called Nanite which is a dynamic adaptive tessellation so it, it's like virtualized geometry so you can render all big world scenes in pretty good detail the closer you get to the objects and then it has a new lighting system called lumen but other than that i'd say 90 percent is still the same of unreal engine so anywho there's that so download 4.26 and then what you do is you need to come into your new tech folder and where is our new tech here and we'll go in here and we'll go to support and then we'll go to third party support and then we'll go to Unreal Engine and then we'll go to the most recent one which is 4.26 and we're now we're going to keep going we want to come to this folder here and click you can right click it and go open with notepad and see if it'll let you open it and if it will it will not have this line of code by default which is basically quote enabled by default quote colon space true comma and that is like in camelback so it's uppercase e all the uppercase b and uppercase d so you just want to put this line of code into in included into this lightweight bridge you plug in and when i tried to do it it wouldn't let me edit this inside this directory so i had to copy this somewhere else and then update it there and then replace this file. I couldn't just edit it in here and do it. I can show you, like if I go, if I'm on this file, let's say I try to make a change here. So just I'll, I'll just type in some X's or something. And look, if I go to save, go save, yes, I get this error here, it won't let me. So just take this file outside of this directory structure, modify it, and then bring it back. And what this will do is this will mean that every time you start Unreal Engine, Lightwave Bridge will load up. Otherwise, if you don't, you have to you have to add the plugin every single time you start Unreal Engine. And that's kind of a pain to do. So it's worth the time to modify that line of code to make it work. Then once you do that, just come in here, go back to this folder right here, Lightwave Bridge, and then you would just right click it, and go copy. And then you can go find your Unreal Engine folder. Mine's in my D drive, I think. And it's here, 4.26. And I've got some weird stuff going on here, but 4.26. And you go into Engine here. You go into Plugins and Editor. And then you would just copy it into here. Paste it into here, the Lightway Bridge. And then when you start Unreal Engine, it'll automatically be loaded in. So I'm going to stop right here. I'll see you over on the, the lightweight side of things. Okay, I'm back. So I'm here in the Epic Games Launcher, and here's where you have the option to choose your engine. So for Lightwave, it's going to be the 4.26.2, and I'm just going to go ahead and launch it. So it just takes a minute to do this. Hopefully it just takes a minute and it, maybe it'll take longer. I haven't tried this with 2020, so you're actually watching. <laughs> you're actually watching me do this in real time. See, it's automatically wanting to load Steam VR at the same time. So let's just go into this blank scene right here. It just says blank. Let's just go in there. I don't think we need starter content. So let's just go there. Again, it takes a minute and it, oh, it's fail. Okay, so now we are, have that up and running. So now let's jump into Lightwave and here we are. Home sweet home. <laughs> I gotta tell you, you know, coming from Lightwave, I'm just used to certain things. And, and I, I do think there is a transition problem when you're going into Unreal Engine because the navigation is not the same. Give you a little tip uh, in just a minute here. So we should be able to go into Let's see, where is it now? It, and it should be, there's go Z. Oh, here it is, open Unreal Bridge, right under bridges. So if I did everything correctly, I should be able to just hit connect. Let's see if it'll hook up. And it does. So when it lights up like that, you know you've made, 
your connection. I'm just going to stop right now and then I'll do the next video where we go from here. So this is just going to be part one of, like I said, a whole series of videos I'm going to be doing on this. So I hope you found this helpful and I look forward to doing the other tutorials soon.